friends, today is a good day for EPP. We won the European elections, my friends. We are the strongest party. We are the anchor of stability, and voters acknowledged our leadership during the last five years, and this is a great message to all of us. Thank you so much for all that you did. Well, Rob Parsons is still with me. Interesting to see Ursula von der Leyen looking so happy there. I don't know whether she'd heard uh, Emmanuel Macron's uh, statement when she <laughs> looked as happy as that. But uh, as I said, across Europe, the far right not making those sweeping gains that a lot of people had predicted. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. If you, if you look at the, the number of seats that the centre parties have got, the, 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 they've gone down a bit. They were 69% in the, the, the previous poll. They're at 645 or something like that this time. That's a pretty substantial majority. Uh, uh, and as, as you pointed out, the far right did do well in some places. France is the obvious example. Quite well in, in Germany, although they still came third place just behind the Social Democrats. It's more of a, a crushing defeat for the Social Democrats, I think, in Germany than a victory for the alternative for, for Germany, uh, the AFD. Aust Austria, obviously a big victory for, for the far right, uh, and Italy as well, with uh, Maloney winning there as well. But again, you know, you have to ask yourself, what, you know, what is the far right? You know, that, that, it, it means different things in different countries. Uh, and because of that, too, it's very hard for the far right to come together as an effective force in many cases. You know, there are some issues on which they do come together, immigration being the most obvious. But on others, for instance, you know, Ukraine, it's not so clear. Uh, I think the thing that's interesting, though, about the far right, although I, I agree with you that this is not the surge, it's a trickle more than anything else, or a ruffle, as you put it. I, I, I think what's interesting is that they've established themselves as part of the establishment now. It doesn't shock us anymore when far right parties get 12, 15 percent. They may not be the main party, but they could be second or they could be third, as we've seen now in a slew of countries across Europe. They're, they're here to stay. You mentioned Ukraine. Uh, of course, Europe is right in the middle of a series of big issues. Ukraine, one of them, the environment, yeah. also those other big issues of the day. Does these, uh, do these elections make any difference, do you think, to Europe's policy and, and how things will go forward in the European Parliament? Well, I think if you're Ukrainian at the moment, you're looking at these elections and breathing a sigh of relief because most of the parties that have supported them thus far are still there. You know, the centre bloc, which has been very supportive of Ukraine, is still there. Plus, if you look at some of the others who are outside of that bloc, like the Brothers of Italy, of Georgia Maloney, very supportive of the European Union's policies on Ukraine, one of the leaders, in fact, of the, the effort to support Ukraine, both financially and militarily. It's one of the reasons why it would be so hard to envisage an alliance between, for instance, Marine Le Pen and Georgia Maloney. They simply do not see eye to eye on a lot of key issues. So, you know, on Ukraine, I don't think there'll be uh, any, any significant change. On other areas, though, perhaps, uh, you know, Immigration, because you know, there's, a, there's a shift to the right taking place, even within uh, the, the EPP, the European People's Party. They're, they're taking up some of the positions of the far right to try and maintain their position in the centre. So perhaps we might see a little, a little bit of a shift in that direction there. But I think environment is the one that could be interesting over, over the, the next months and years. Uh, already we've seen a bit of a rowback uh, over the past few months in the European Union you know, with strikes taking place across across the European Union, opinion polls showing that environmental issues are becoming quite unpopular in some, some countries because of the cost of living uh, crisis. Uh, we saw those demonstrations when tractors took to the streets of Brussels and blocked business there. That forced a climb down on some issues from the European Union. And now, with the Greens taking a hammering in this election, I think that's an area where we can expect that Europe, the European Union, although it will attempt to keep its position as the leader uh, on environmental issues, will start to row back in some areas. Rob, thanks so much. Rob Parsons, our chief foreign editor here on France 24.